Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God update video. I almost completely missed this one today. Got some pretty exciting events coming very soon. Firstly, we have a public testing session for the upcoming Exaltation and Vital Combat System. They don't give us any other information on that to work with, but some are saying that Exaltation is going to be hitting milestones on a class when you play it will unlock small permanent buffs to that class. And the Vital Combat System is going to be the in and out of combat feature they were talking about many months ago. For those who haven't heard of it, the old post says when you take 15 or more damage, you will now be set to in combat for 7 seconds. While in combat, your pet's heal and magic heal abilities will have their cooldown increased by 3 seconds. When the duration runs out, the effect will disappear and you will be considered out of combat. While out of combat, your pet's abilities are back to normal and your vitality and wisdom regeneration are doubled. So when you get hit, your vit and wiz will actually be the value that you're currently familiar with. The goal here is to make higher level pets a bit less broken, but mainly this is to give vitality a far more potent purpose. The base duration of in combat is 7 seconds, but for every 5 vitality you have, it'll be reduced by 0.2 seconds. It's still a massive work in progress, hence the need for a public testing session, so no need to jump to any conclusions, we'll just take it as it is when it happens. The main upcoming events kick off strong with an Oryx Sanctuary Portal spawn. All four of these events run from August 27th until the 31st. After defeating Oryx 2, there is a chance for Oryx's Sanctuary to spawn without the need for any runes. This is huge, because the need for these runes on top of the difficulty is the reason why O3 runs are so rare to begin with. This is going to temporarily remedy that. On top of that, we also have a Mark of Oryx daily quest. Exchanging a Mark of Oryx at the Tinkerer will give you six mystery ST shards. Not sure if that's going to be repeatable. It says it's a daily quest, so I would assume once per day, but maybe they will let you repeat it over and over, since that's what basically everyone's going to be doing. That would be a lot of ST shards if that's the case. Meanwhile, we also have a dead Water Docks and Woodland Labyrinth event. 1.5 times loot drop and XP. This is actually pretty smart on their end, because with how many realms are going to be closing going to Oryx, new ones will be opening constantly. So you'll start the realm off by participating in the D-Docks and Woodlab event, then go to Oryx, maybe getting a Sanctuary spawn, then turning in your mark, and then repeating that however many times you can in four days. Lastly, we have an official announcement for Month of the Mad God. They said, we noticed some of you were a bit confused about when this year's Mopmeg starts. We can't spill the beans just yet, but we can definitely tell you that the start is in the second half of September, and it will be one of the biggest, most stacked Mopmegs to date. It will bring new content, game-changing features, and of course, loot. We are incredibly stoked and will be sharing more information soon. So that's a lot of stuff to watch out for. We're just gonna have to get right into the action and see what it's all about. But that being said, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.